right, folks, Jeremy Hazel here from Seven Season Studios. So this week's tutorial is how to prep a photo for creation of a texture brush. So there will be a lesson on how to prep the photo. That's this one. And then at the end of this video, you'll have a link to the one where we actually create the texture brush using this photo. So this is a two parter. All right, because some of us just need to know how to prep a photo. So let's go ahead and let's take this photo of an elephant ass. That's right, it's an elephant ass from pexels.com. And I'm gonna show you how you can take a photo like this and create a really cool texture brush for use in your art. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Let's go ahead here, let's open up a new canvas. Now, every time you make a texture brush or a brush in general, you wanna start with a square canvas. So this is about 2000 by 2000. Unit is pixels, type is web, and up it comes. Perfect. Now, if you go into your downloads, we're going to place in the African elephant ass. We're going to go ahead and we're going to stretch this bad boy out. And now when you get a texture like this, what you want to look for is a common, cleanly, evenly lit area that you can pull a square with. What I'm going to do, I think I see that right here in the tail. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to focus on the tail somewhere with a lot of texture and I'm going to square it off close enough for horseshoes and hand grenades. Now we pull this over to the corner and we bring it up. All right, perfect. Now let's go ahead and add an adjustment. The adjustment tab is down here in the layers panel area. Now let's go ahead and add a black and white adjustment and let's crank down our reds and crank down the yellows a little bit to make it a little bit more grainy, a little bit more dingy. Perfect. Now, with this being said, let's select both those layers. So I'm gonna grab shift and I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna rasterize. Oh, I gotta group them first. And then I rasterize, there we go. All right, now what that did, that just compressed everything down to a black and white file. You're never gonna get the color back on that now. Now we're gonna add a different layer. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add a levels adjustment. Now I'm gonna push the blacks and I'm gonna push the whites. The reason you do this folks, what you need to keep in mind, black conceals, white reveals. So in here, everywhere you see white, the color that you have for the brush will show through. Everywhere that you see black, it won't show through. So the more contrast you have, the better your brush is going to be. So I think I'm in pretty good shape here. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna close that off. Perfect. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to rasterize this. So now it's into here. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and invert it. Now, why did I just do that, right? The part that I want to show through is the white. So the inversion is the key. Now, right click and rasterize this bad boy. We have now made a full on black and white image, zero or one, right or wrong. There's no shades of gray in this bad boy. All right, so now we've got that. Now we have to change our document properties. Let's go to document setup. And in the color tab, change it to transparent. And let's go ahead and swap over to the pixel persona. All right, so now we're in pixel persona and now we're gonna use a brush to make a brush, if that makes any sense. Grab your eraser, grab any texture brush. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna grab one. I'm just gonna grab this one. All right, now I'm gonna move my flow up to 100%. And now with this picked, you see how I'm over the black here. You're gonna to wanna to get away from all of the edges because you don't want a solid edge around this bad boy. And the reason is you don't want a square brush. A square brush, if you pattern it, will leave a lot of marks, a lot of edges. So you don't want that. You also don't want a consistent brush. So you see I'm alternating the size of my brush, how far I cut in on some of this stuff. So I'm going through and I'm making my brush right about where I want it. Okay, so that looks pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and 
drop this down a little bit here and then I'm going to cut into some of these areas. There we go. All right. You see how I'm kind of making that randomized? All right. That looks pretty good here. Not too happy with that at the bottom. All right. I think that's pretty good. Oops. That was a little bit aggressive. All right. I think we're pretty good for this brush on this side. All right, we're gonna go ahead and clean some of that up. All right, now, once you got that, all you have to do now is go to export. You're gonna export it as a PNG 2048 by 2048. You're gonna export the entire document and we're gonna save it somewhere. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna call it texture one. And I'm gonna overwrite it. So even if you don't wanna make the image you now have the image in the downloads for part two of this in part two we're going to take this texture and we're going to make a brush out of it all right let's go ahead and cut the video here now you've seen how to prep an image for any texture brush that you want to make if you like this video go ahead and hit the subscribe button hit the thumbs up if you want to see something else certainly shoot me a comment down in the uh in the comment section and if you're interested in learning more about affinity designer Check out the link down below the video. We've got a coupon on there that'll get you into the ultimate guide to Affinity Designer. It is by far the largest 14 hour course on Affinity Designer out there. It'll take you from zero to hero a designer, I guarantee it. All right, folks, best of luck. We'll see you next weekend. Enjoy the video. Check out part two.